hey guys welcome to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today's video is another men's shirt with fashion video i made one previously if you haven't seen that please check the link in the description to check it out for this video these are the materials that will be needed to make this diy project the first step is to lay down the fabric and measure the length you want your top to be i chose 12 inches because that's what i want yours could be more or could be less and i'm measuring that along the width of the shirt to make a straight line that i can cut out later my fabric is on a fold because i'll be splitting it into two and joining it by the sides i need a very long fabric that is almost as twice the size of my bust my bust size is 36 and this fabric gave me about 66 inches in total after joining if you're using a different fabric that isn't a t-shirt and it's long enough you can skip this step After joining the two pieces, we are going to hem both horizontal edges of the fabric. This is what it should look like once that is done. Now we are going to thread our bobbin with the elastic thread, not the regular thread and I prefer using my hand because it gives more control I mean it's easier that way than using the machine to thread it once that is done we are going to start sewing with the right side of the fabric facing up but before that I'm going to measure half an inch away from the first seam like the M line to mark where uh, my stitch is going to begin do not forget before you start sewing that the regular thread is going to be at the top and the elastic thread is going to be at the bottom now we're going to start sewing and try as much as possible to sew in a straight line to make the work neat This is what it should look like underneath. I did about 16 rows of that that are half an inch apart. I didn't do it to the end because I wanted it to have the this kind of flared look at the bottom. Now with the right sides facing, I'm folding the fabric so that I can stitch up the open end. This time we are going to change the bobbin thread to a normal thread, it will not be an elastic thread and we are going to sew a straight stitch. This is what the top looks like after closing the open hands and we are done. This is the final result. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for my newcomers <laughs> my first timers please subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in my next video bye